So this is a common plant you find in a lot of different yards and so forth. This is what's called bulbous buttercup, ranunculus bulbosus. Uh, sometimes it goes by a couple of other names too, including gold cup because of the, of course, the color of the leaves and so forth. And um, sometimes it's called a frog's foot because the leaves, which are basal three, three divided leaves you see at the very bottom. Um, it is actually from Western Europe, it's an invasive and it, it does have some pretty little flowers that you see here. Easy to tell apart from all the other ones because if you look at, at one of these uh, and you look underneath, you see that the sepals, the things that covered the, the, uh, that actually covered the leaves are reflexed or pointed backwards on the plant itself. And that is one of the big things that can tell you very quickly what this other, you know, that, that this, what this plant is, bulbous buttercup. Now, there's got another name to it too. Uh, Saint An it, it's called St. Anthony's turnip. And that's got to do, again, with the bulbosus, because if you were to dig this up underneath, um, you would actually find that it has an interesting little bulb on the bottom, what's called the corm. And that's what you see right here underneath, just beneath the surface, this little bulb, which is where everything comes from. Um, that's where all the basil leaves come from, and of course the flowers come from. So um, here we have some, you see some that's, uh, that's already gone to seed, um, that's going to come out soon. Uh, eventually, it, it will die back. It's a springtime thing uh, or into the summer, but when it gets too hot and dry, it dies back and then it saves energy uh, because even though the top dries back, the bottom is very perennial and this will hold on to um, energy until the following year. Now, this you might see in a lot of different places, especially if you go by and you notice in, uh, in, in horse fields and pastures and stuff like that, this is everywhere because the horses and the cow stuff won't eat it. Um, they won't eat it because it's toxic to them. It's got something called glycoside ranunculin um, that, uh, that it makes it distasteful and acrid to them. Um, and that, uh, that makes it so that nobody will eat this thing, you know, slowly creep over. You can see how in, in many parts it just completely covers over a whole area. Uh, now, uh, the interesting thing about this, uh, this toxin which is in it, this glycoside ranunculin, is that um, if it dries out, it's actually edible. So if you were to hay these, you, you, you chop it down or whatever, and you made hay out of them, it's actually okay. For, uh, for pasture animals and stuff to eat, but otherwise it's not. It is a beautiful flower. Um, it actually also has some medicinal properties, although it's dangerous and people use it for skin diseases, uh, things like the flu and stuff like that, but it does does have some um, some properties to it that does make it dangerous. But a neat little plant, but unfortunately an invasive from Eastern Europe, and as you can see, it'll completely cover an area and uh, provides almost no wildlife value because again, most animals can't eat it because of that toxin. So bulbous buttercup, a very common plant that's easy to tell because you can turn over and look for the reflex uh, sepals. So a neat plant, but unfortunately invasive, that grows in almost all our yards. Bulbous buttercup.